these homes are turning into the front lines. As Ontario boosts staff to fight outbreaks in long-term care, questions continue about how well the homes were prepared. We know that um, many homes have been struggling before this pandemic. More than a year ago, Ontario moved to risk-based inspections of homes. They happen at least annually, but only after there's been a complaint, crisis or harm. The province effectively stopped proactive, more detailed checks known as resident quality inspections. And a CBC investigation reveals RQIs were key to identifying 87% of infection control violations between 2014 until they largely stopped in 2019. It concerns me very much because in those inspections that, again, I will insist, need to be unannounced. It's impossible to say if this made homes less prepared for a pandemic. But you can look at the outbreaks now, such as Eatonville, where 31 have died. A 2017 RQI warned of soiling the walls and a light fixture still not cleaned a week later. No signage to indicate infection control measures. At Pinecrest, where 29 have died of COVID, inspectors flagged violations in 2018 after privacy curtains had not been washed following a resident in a shared room being sick and or coughing on the curtains. While this pandemic may not have been seen, the fact that we would have deaths and infection rates escalate in long-term care was entirely predictable. This senior's advocate says unscheduled, detailed inspections should resume to make sure that those homes are following all protocols. Ontario's Ministry of Long-Term Care says those protocols still include infection prevention, that inspectors conducted 2,882 inspections in homes last year, the vast majority of them considered low risk. With the pandemic killing people, there is certainly now a much greater focus on infection control. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.